Okay, I just grabbed my rental car here in Detroit and I saw this. I haven't been here in a long time. I love this old terminal building. Is that the coolest thing? Oh my God, I'm gonna swing by and take a peek at it. I've been in it before. It looks pretty darn dilapidated, but uh, anyway, let's take, go out and take a quick peek. Oh my God. Is that cool or what? Oh my God, Wayne County Airport. They need to do some trimming here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh my God, have DC-3 over here. Well, that's, a, that's a C-46. Anyway. I got in it at one point. It's pretty dilapidated. Oh, you still see some of the Art Deco stuff inside. Yeah, it's not open. Anyway, pretty doggone cool. I just love some of this old architecture. And uh, anyway, we're going to have some of that type of architecture in my uh, golden age of aviation uh, area at Fantasy of Flight one day. So pretty cool. Okay. Off to go see the Ford Tri-Motor and see more race. I haven't seen more race in a long time, at least four or five years. Okay, Kermit Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight. I am headed off to see my Ford 4AT tri-motor that I've not seen in at least four years. Um, the airplane was significantly damaged in Hurricane Andrew. Um, I bought it from uh, Al Cheney. It used to fly around up here uh, off to the lakes uh, in uh, east of Detroit out of uh, New Hudson, I think, or some, some, I don't know, whatever, anyway. And uh, anyway, so I bought the airplane uh, out in California. I flew it all the way back, four and a half hours out on an airliner, four and a half days home. Anyway, it got significantly damaged, and after the hurricane, Maurice Hovius, who's like the leading uh, Ford Trimotor guy on the planet, he had restored a number of them, did a lot of work on Greg Herrick's, uh, I think the EAAs. He was doing some other business and at some point turned the project over to another gentleman who had about three guys working with him. Unfortunately, and I think it was about four years ago, the gentleman who was going out to fly by himself, I think in a Luscombe, uh, propped the airplane and somehow fell into the propeller. So, really, really sad deal. The project came to a bit of a halt. Uh, I think Maurice uh, grabbed the, the guys that were working with the gentleman, and uh, the airplane's been sitting ever since. I, I had another Ford Tri-Motor that was flyable. I didn't need another one. Uh, you know, expenses uh, went other places. Anyway, I've not seen Maurice in a long time. Maurice uh, is <laughs> up in years, 85 years old, we're not getting any younger. The planet doesn't realize that it's really been dealing with global aging. That's the big problem. Anyway, so um, I'm just a couple of miles from where I'm headed. And uh, anyway, so I gotta come up with a plan. Um, you know, I think the, the main thing is to make sure that anything that Mar Maurice is a, uh, uh, you know, an expert on needs to get finished and then we'll just kind of go from there. So that's really kind of my plan at this point uh, to talk to him. He's been a great guy. Oh my God, four years. Guess how much I've paid in hangar rent? A case of Naked in Jamaica rum. Naked in Jamaica. I've got a whole bunch of uh, goodies for his great grandchildren. Uh, signed books and plush and things like that. So anyway, um, it'd be great to see Maurice again. Uh, known him for, 
oh, decades actually, since the hurricane was August 24th, 1992. And uh, anyway, he's uh, has got a little airstrip. I think it's about 2,500 feet south of uh, Kalamazoo and a little town called Vicksburg. Oh my God, all sorts of nice corn. Just saying. Anyway, um, does that look like a classic barn or what? So I've kind of come a back way that I've never come before. And uh, I'm coming in from the east side. And I should be getting pretty close. Really close, actually. The GPS is telling me I'm almost there. So let me see what it says. The destination is on your right. Yep. There is... Arrived. Here we go. Okay, so there's the airstrip. He obviously bails hay off it too to get the agricultural exemption. Oh my god, that looks like a liter 20. 4, 25, 25 I think. I'm not a Lear guy. Oh, it's just the fuselage. Anyway, okay, so we have not seen Maurice in forever. The airplane is in the back there, and he's got a lot of people here, so I'm hoping that means he's got projects going on. Okay, let's see what we've got here. And go in the office, which I believe is up here. Yeah, Maurice was doing a lot of work on different airplanes and wings and stuff like that, as I remember. You know, special stuff. I hear a voice I recognize. Oh my God, how you doing? Kermit. Richard. Hey Maurice, how you doing, man? Yeah, me yeah, up, good to me. see you. Good to see you. Oh my God. Good to see you. Oh my God, Kermit. Yeah. Keith. Keith, my how do you do? My son. No yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, that's mine. Well, you haven't changed much. You got a little skinnier. I'm just older. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just uh, I was talking on the video here. I think what everybody's dealing with on the planet that nobody realizes is global aging. Yeah. <laughs> And nobody's yeah, talking that. about it. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, good. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't know whether or not you still had the, any kind of business going, or. Well, I've still got the Three Rivers business with the, the Malibus. So oh, okay. The there. Uh, yeah, we've had that going strong. Best, okay. Oh, best awesome. year ever. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, oh my God, as I remember, the airplane was kind of back that yep, way. It is. And you look familiar to yeah, me. He's oh, been here before oh, forever. Yeah, yes. He, and he's been down at your place. Oh in yeah, Florida, good. Talk to good. you. Good. Uh, all that. Uh, we <laughs> first met. Went down to buy, or to, not to buy, but to, uh, and brought the fuselage back. Right, right, right. And, yeah, right after yeah, the hurricane. You, you yeah. told me about your buying the house there, and, and oh my uh, god. Oh my God! So yeah. do you remember? Because the hurricane was August twenty fourth, nineteen ninety two, right? And so then, when did we decide to pick up the? I came back from the South Pole, rescuing an airplane. Right. I got back and I was going through my mail, and that there was an article in there about it, and I said, "Judy, get in the bus. We're going to Florida." So we drove down to Florida. And of course, I couldn't find uh, uh, the, the Weeks the, Air Museum. No, well, you were at uh, yeah, the, the other museum, okay. airport, but okay. but Homestead. I couldn't find Homestead oh. because it wasn't there. Oh my God! It was so hard to find. When all the street signs went down, there were no trees. I, and I, <laughs> by luck, I found the airport. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And of course, I went out and investigated and there's. The, the trimotor chicken with the tail yeah, on the ceiling. Yeah, Cessna wing through the fuselage. Oh my God. Uh, so then I went to find you. And I found you. I can't remember, Tamiami or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Tamiami, yeah. And, and you said, I'm hungry. So we went to eat. And you and I talked about it. You said, Yeah, I've seen your name in the log book. Uh, but oh, is that when I first met you? Yeah, and you said oh my you goodness. need to go look at the airplane. Oh, what yeah. do you think about rebuilding? I said I just came from the airplane. Kermit 
we got to rebuild oh, this thank airplane. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my God. We got to rebuild that. this airplane. This yeah. airplane has so much history. everything about it. And, yeah. and it was the first airplane they had it. It was Port yeah. Hudson, wasn't it? Huh? It's, it's What was the place where they flew out of uh, Island Port Air? Clinton. Port Clinton. Port okay, Clinton. Port yeah. Clinton. Yeah. But yeah. it was. And what's the what's the little island they used to fly off to? Well, uh, I can't remember all the islands. Uh, but there was a school on it or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Your airplane was the school bus. Yeah. For the people on yeah. the islands. Yeah. And it get was, on it, and eight minutes later they'd get off of it yeah. and walk across the street to their school, and just reverse that to go home. Unbelievable. And those and, people now are old people. They come up here on a regular basis. And look at your airplane. Oh my God! Oh my God! That's because so they know awesome. That. So the airplane, and I saved uh, uh, the door sill that go goes around the yep. door uh -huh. because their marks are scars. Oh really? In the bottom of that. Awesome. And they come up and they look at that, and that they, they know that they made that when they were a little child. Oh, that is and, so and cool. And they cry. They cry. Oh. Oh my We got the video running again. Sorry about that. All right. So that's the EAA one. That is freaking awesome. That is so cool. And you said my center section was pretty much all Your new too. Your center section is just exactly like this, huh. except it's a different grain. But it's every piece huh. is brand new. And you said these wings in the back here are mine? Yep. Okay. Well, and th those were pretty much done a while back, weren't they? Well, they were the first thing uh, that we did. You know, at one time we had 65 people. Oh my gosh. And I had people working everywhere. And so we built the wings then, brand new, tip to tip. Wow. Do you still fly anything out of the uh, out of the airstrip? Air, oh yeah, oh, that's awesome. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah look yeah. good when I came in. I'm getting in. ready to do a big repair on this strip. It has a divot in it, and I'm going to. Ah, there's it. your there's your rollers. So you yep. hand roll the the deals. The leading huh? edges. The leading edges we do here because they have to taper. Right. Yeah. Run. Yeah. The, the the straight skins and everything. Back here. You do with the press? Yeah, this right here. Oh, okay. We okay, have cool. A, the dies are right. sitting in there on the floor. Oh, yeah. We, we load them. Can't see them from here. Okay. And here, they go 10 foot across. We take a flat sheet of aluminum on the table there. Yeah. Here, and we slide it into the dies. Yeah, so basically you've got going. you got you've got one thing that probably what grabs like two or three things. One thing. Oh just one thing it that grabs, grabs it. One thing, but it grabs it three times. It it, it comes down, grabs it, raises, and then indexes in one. Yeah. Grabs it and first. And grabs it the second time and then grabs the first time. And the next one the first time. Then it slips in. So it has three. Oh, so it's three, three mecha different. Yes. Oh, I see. So it gets because hit. Of shrinkage. Oh, because times. of the shrinkage. Yeah. yeah, okay. It would split open yeah. if you just tried to do you one pull, shot. Keep pulling right. and it can't get it. So three or four. To huh. Three oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I well, paid a lot of money for that die. I had oh, my God. It, I had it built in uh, Chicago years ago. And I had it built just exactly like the factories in that, water uh -huh. that they had. Huh. Uh, Alcoa hmm. did all of the the skids for Ford. I'll be darned. And uh, and what's the what's the maximum width? What's the so ten, like ten foot? Ten and foot. That's okay. What my dies are made. Yeah. Through. Okay. Okay. Uh, we get aluminum in here at twelve foot. Right. And we just got two foot off of the end of yeah. it there and burn it right over here. You know, I've got a shear that's almost like this, but it's an open throat. Open throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was. I ended up buying. I'd have to go uh, it'll, super structural. Oh my God! It'll do a uh, uh, quarter-inch mild steel. And I, um, when Eastern Airlines went out of business, I bought the entire Miami Eastern Airlines sheet metal shop. Jeez. <laughs> It, and it you, was, I remember when you were in the hangar, had your P40 in there. Yeah. And you were doing the P40 back then. 
And I think that, that was the hammer. Maybe. Uh, no, not, 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 not. Well, I had a shop south of, well, no, I mean, when I bought the stuff, I moved everything yeah, down yeah, to my yeah. shop. But a lot of it went into storage. But, you know, I've got, like, hot dimplers and, you know, uh, we got a, 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 what do you call it, uh, you know, welding, spot welding machine oh, yeah, yeah, running. Right. We got that running. But uh, this, I love this old equipment. Yeah, and it works flawlessly. That's yeah. awesome. We keep it in the All this old shape. equipment works flawlessly. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> I, I'm right behind I, you. I'm right behind I you. I can't guarantee that anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, that's awesome. Thank you. Well, let's go down. Yeah, so I want to see these dies. Where's the... Where's the, the dies are right here. Yeah, this stuff fascinates me. Okay. Okay, so that's where it goes into the uh, press. Into the press. Yeah. Man, that's actually, that's not very wide there. So I can't really feel the... Oh, so the actual... Yeah, there's two dies there. One on the top and bottom. And we have them bolted together so we can put them in the machine. I see. Okay, I see, I see, I see. And Okay, so the curved part is in here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in between there. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. I had to do a lot of talking. Uh, it's a big machine company in Chicago. Yeah. And I took them pictures of the four tri motors. Yeah. And I took them pieces of the skin. And, and our skin is 2024 T3. Right. Okay. The factory built. 17s aluminum which is similar to 2024 but not as good right just in tensile strength and, it, and, yeah. and it was soft really so they made them out of soft then they then they had to heat treat them? them oh my god so that's what i started to do i borrowed their their uh, formula kind of their dyes dyes yeah, yeah. and i said I asked him if I could get a deal to help Alcoa do it. So this old retired guy made that happen. They were going to build 500 skins, you know, and we in the industry would buy them up for the future. He just built like 50, and they said they were ruining most of them. They, they couldn't control the warpage. Really? So they said, we don't want to do any more, but here are the dies. I'll be done. So they donated the dies to the EAA. Huh. And in the meantime, I, I couldn't wait for all this, so I had those dies made. The, their, their dies are more shallow. And that's the radius that they're looking for, you know. Right. So when I'm doing T3, my die my skins on those ties they, they spring back right right you know, so it didn't right. it wasn't working I, they were acceptable by yeah. the faa but and they you weren't didn't right. want, you didn't want to buy start they with, were not deep enough oh and then so we made our dies deeper right and radius right so that spring back the spring yeah. back comes back to the right and front. you and you got the and right pretty damn close oh that's great and awesome yeah and they're yeah. mine they're mine yeah those are, those are your aileron yeah yeah. All right, so we got ailerons. I'm doing an inventory here. We got ailerons, we got two wings. And you got your horizontal stabilizer. Okay. And the and the vertical fan. So that's and the, the horizontal up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'm just kind of doing an inventory. That's so we got, this is the fuselage back the there, fuselage. right? Yeah, we're going to go to it. Okay. That is cool as crap. See, part of the problem with the the leading edges is they actually, because the wing tapers, you have to taper the deal, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So they line up with the deal because if they roll them tapered, they the tapers would be like that. So so explain to me how you roll that with with the taper on it. Both of these guys can do it. Okay. You have to start out with a piece that's shaped like a banana. Right. So the interior side is shorter than the exit. Correct. Just shorter 
of this, and then we just. Run. Oh, you're kidding! Please, oh, I thought it was more complicated than that. There's a line in the center on this, and we run the line on the center of that flat piece. Right. These are just things that we have developed. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To make it easier. Yeah. yeah. We t we had ten years trying to figure out how to do years, and then engineers and brainy people would come along and say, "I'll fix that up for you and send you a note." And then we got to work on it. Yeah. Huh. So finally, we sat down. And yeah, I mean, originally, did. did they do it like with a drop hammer? Or no. no, they they, they did the it this way. Yeah. This is from the factory. Oh, you're kidding. No. no and that's... I got pictures, actually some some movie pictures of them making them. Oh, there you go. And they had so you big, cheated. We they did. had a big power uh, shaft around, and they did this with a power off that shaft and have a clutch and they did it that way. Huh. It's not a zero thing. You have to run it through, fit right. it, run it through again, fit it, make it until you get it perfect. I see. So and, you, and you can guide it. Right, a little bit, a little okay. Bit like and it's just out of curiosity, how many times do you think you run it through the machine before you actually <laughs> as many as it takes. Yeah, well no but I mean give me a range. I'd say anywhere from four to six. Four to six, okay. Yeah. That's two. That is too cool. Yeah. See. Yeah, we're coordinating. Yeah. See, this lines up with the flight line. But if you did it on the machine in there, it would come up like this. So they had to. They got to compensate for the taper, the leading edge. Oh my God, this thing is so freaking cool. So, was there anything? That you saved out? I mean, is not, not a piece in this wing. No, 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 but not put back in. But I mean, did you scrap everything? Oh, yeah. Or? Yeah, it just goes in a pile. I'll show you out back. Oh, you're good. I mean, we may want to have some pieces or yeah, something. You're welcome to as many as you want. I'll try to show you the picture of how it was when it came in. Man, you are the Ford Tri Motor King, you guys here. This is it when it came in. Oh! Some pilot for the airline huh. saw it in the jungle of uh, Nicaragua. Really? And he did a thing where he came out and cut the wings off of it and floated that thing out a river and up the ocean and to the EAA. And this was way back when the, the EAA airplane had gone upside down. Yeah, so it they was couldn't a use anything in tornado this tornado or something. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was a Well, they couldn't use any of this airplane. But I did use it to build a jig fix because it was straight. Yeah, huh. It had been shot down over the jungle. And they did a pretty good job getting it on the ground. That's just a, when you say shot down, by who? Yeah, shot down. By who? Who, who knows, you know, it was a new arm. Ah. And, uh, so, so I ended up Hondurans, probably. Buying it, yeah, buying it from the EAA. And I oh, restored it my as God. a static display. Oh, really? Okay. I got the engines and everything, you know, so I can do it. See that? Use up some of those old That's a pretty nice static <laughs> display bunch yeah. of parts. Yeah, yeah. So, so is this going to maybe. Have you got uh, a museum or somebody that's interested in it? Yeah, I, huh. I decided not to put, put myself under pressure. Oh, yeah, there you go. And when I get it done, and I will put it in front of no customer, I do the customer first, and when I have the time, yeah. then I yeah. do this. Yeah. Uh, but, but I'm getting that along pretty oh good with Oh, my God. It. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Now it's, it's happening. I'll just operate that door. Go ahead, turn. Oh. turn it, it up. There we go. Pretty cool. And cool not door? one child scratch on the no, bottom. No, that's right. This is a brand new. Just so people can see what we can do. That's freaking awesome. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Look at that, how the thing is there, and then they pinch the deal to make it. We have there. one. They're just exactly like it. You'll have to. Have to uh, Kind of close your eyes. We have some pictures. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies. No, that's this fine. Is, this is Dave's work, work area, and he's not married. 
Oh, okay, that's fine. That's a fine. Dave, this is Kermit. I am married, and I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh my God, awesome! Well, you may see yourself in another one. Here's our jig fixer for our engine mount. Oh my God, I'm so excited that y'all are still keeping this alive in a big way. I intend to as long as I can afford to. Awesome. Oh my gosh. This machine over here, Kermit, that's how we bend the curve in the top of the wings. You know how the sheet metal is bent? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't just hold it over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So we put it in here, and then this goes back and forth. Oh, no way. Feed it in there. And you can crank it down, put a little more bend in it, a little less. Bend. Oh, so that raises the thing up and down. That's awesome. Originally, this was done with a donkey. You <laughs> dug my hand one four inch at a time. <laughs> Those are wheels from inline roller skates. Did it again? Oh, they're wheels from inline roller skates. Yes. They're just the right width. Oh, my gosh. That is just too cool. I'm loving this. That's, that's awesome. Most of that was yeah. right, awesome. Good, good, good. Oh, okay, so that's mine. That's huh? your airplane. And that's with a... Uh... Now, what did it originally come with the engine? Because now it's got See, what on That's the original Rose engine. No, but I mean, but originally, what did it have on it back in 1929, I think? Uh, it wouldn't have been this. This is a no, little slightly later. But, but... This engine came out of the N3N. Right, okay, yeah. He I bought can't... a whole fleet of N3Ns right. and cut the engines off. Right. So that engine came out in the and the other two also. Hmm. Unless you change them. No, 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 no. No, we've got uh we've got that on there. And this is good because it's a low horsepower, it's a much more efficient now, uh, because my other one's got the early 1340s in it. You know, they're like 30 horse. Right. And my other one, my five's got like 420. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah, so this is a, this is like back in the days. This is uh, like. Herman, we're going to have a talk about that down wood inside. <laughs> Wheel, uh, uh, trees grow up and down. Right. Okay. I, I think we've got both, both styles in there for you to look at. I think that we were talking about that the last time I was here. Yeah, we, I want you to do. Up and down? Vertical. Yeah, yeah that works for me. Does it? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Just to make you happy, Maurice. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember, but it's kind of coming back to me. I, yeah. I really need a light, but anyway. Oh, right. Can you guys get us a light? That's all right. Oh, yeah, so mainly the exciting thing for me is the main structures and all the really hard stuff has been uh, has been done. And it's got all the new seat rails yeah. in it. I've got a halo stick with a light on it. No, here, I got a, let me get my phone going here. Yeah. Okay. See, I see these marks right here. Oh, yeah. Those, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so all the people the that people. came back there. That's what they come to look at. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, and this this has got the uh, the rod center section because I remember that I see one that somebody had cables in yeah, there, which that's the replacement is the cable. Yours were in good shape. Yeah, but the cable scares the shit out of me oh, because we they get, we get the full we do the test on. Them. Yeah, but the problem is they're still going to stretch. The what? They're still going to stretch at some point. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay, now this has got the original brake system where you actually you, you pull back to get brakes on both and then you go this way for left brake and that way for right brake. Yeah. Now, how is your, your airplane you've got down there? Does that have that, that, that no. brake? No, it's got tow brakes. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever fly? Which, oh, yeah, yeah. This one? You oh, brought yeah. it back. I brought this one back from California and I brought the other one back. In fact, the other one I flew out of a golf course. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, from uh, Flying Lady Ranch or whatever. Yeah, so there we go. So that's looking in the back there. That's gorgeous. And we got a little potty, I think, that's going to go in there at some yes. point. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. And then there's going to be a little sign on the door that says, please do not use the toilet over populated areas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether I'm going to tell you. Those are. That's pretty cool. Okay. I, I was thinking about telling you that I, I lost that big Ford thing that goes on the side of the airplane. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell you I lost it. It's missing. Yeah. I just can't do that. Well, I think we must have them somewhere. No, I didn't. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, you you ended up having them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah, God, because... I, okay. You, you pointed your finger at me and said, Maurice, you don't lose these. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. Well, there's only one. It goes on the other side. Oh, it goes on the other side, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a yeah, the thing that goes on the other side right here, and it's yeah. it's like engraved. And I mean, somebody oh, could, you know, somebody ought to reproduce those. It's illegal. And one guy went to Ford and said, I want to make, you know, the die to do this. And uh, after a long time, they finally agreed to do it. But it's just, Really? Well, he had all this bait on it. But oh my God! Huh. Unreal. Oil yeah. tank here. Oil tank behind you. Boy, that uh, is that is that original style? Yes. Huh. That's cool. So this is for cooling. Cooling. Yeah. Okay. Was there actually some kind of an air inlet yes. that went in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool when you make the oil tank the cooler as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You remember you loaned those out. To Greg. Yep. We finally got them back. Yep. They were, they were very good about it. When you told, said, I want them back, they said, come and get them. So. Those are somebody else's. Uh, yeah. Well, cool. That is all right. Okay, so then, I mean. Your vertical vent and I got four of it now. There we go, getting ahead of the game there. That's awesome. Oops. Oh well. So, I, as I understand, at least back then, yeah. you wanted it all white with red, uh, white and blue stripes along the one line. I, at this point, yeah, I'm open to anything. At this point, well, that's the way it was when it operated. Yo, uh, I, 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 yeah. We can't say. Island Airways on it, but you know you could. Why put, not? Yeah. Well, I don't think. Well, you might. They don't exist, exist anymore. anymore. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think you can. Yeah. Huh. Unreal. Okay, so so well, we'll go back in the office and just kind of wind down okay. what uh, we can plan. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited that the. All the really, really hard stuff has already been done. See, this is what they were talking about, curving. Yeah, we do with that it, on that machine back With there. that little machine way back there. All the way across the same. God. Oh, my God. I'm glad you guys are still doing this so somebody else doesn't have to oh, in, invent the wheel. You know, they have things that we can do reverse engineering yeah. all day long. I've got complete every bit of... Four prime motor airplanes out here that the factory put together. Wow. And uh, it's got all and 430 rivets, so we know the factory did it. Really? Yeah, interesting. Oh my god. So you see, I can duplicate any part of a four prime motor uh, for engineering. Right. Spars right there. It's probably a center section. Be careful, I don't know if there's bees back there. Oh, I'm just, the, the bees don't bother me, I'm kicking the snakes away. Snakes? <laughs> Unreal. All of this stuff came from Johnson's Flying Service in Missoula, Montana. Really? Yeah, a friend of mine introduced me to him. And he said, you know, I won't sell you a single piece of this airplane, but I will sell you the whole thing if you shake my hand and promise to build an airplane. Now, he said, my older brother and I intended to do that. Hmm. And he, said, he got killed, and he said, now I'm 82. Wow. It ain't going to happen. 
but I want to sell it to somebody that I can trust to do it. That's awesome. So that airplane is 8419 in the Kalamazoo oh, cool. Museum. Good. Uh, clean air, it looks like. I know that. <laughs> this is just too cool. Too, too cool. Yeah, sit down. Just sit down and have a seat. Have a seat, okay. So, so what, what makes sense from your perspective? I mean, you know, I, I'm willing to throw a little bit of money at the thing, you know, whatever, whatever fits into your schedule, whatever, whatever makes it work for you. you that, know? that airplane, you and I both know, deserves to fly again. Yeah, oh, for sure. That's the intent. And I know you've got a Ford down there. Yeah. But you've had maintenance problems with it. Uh, and all, all that. you can't just say, take that Ford out, I'm going to fly it today. Oh, no, 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 you no. Know, you can't do that. No. This one you can. Yeah. You can yeah. have it for your everyday airplane if you want to. Yeah. Uh, you know, it'll have a John, the old Johnson bar brakes on it, but you've done that before. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, got I like it. Checked out in that airplane. Awesome. First time that we redid it, and I flew all over people around. Uh, I got used to the Johnson bar. And I, I like, like it. I wrap my leg yeah, you, you wrap yes. your leg around it when you yeah. do the run up. That's right. Yeah. 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 It worked good. Yeah. In fact, I think if we ever, in fact, now that I know that at some point I want to, I'm working on this big dream I explained to you for fantasy flight demo, yeah. okay? And at some point, part of it's going to be hopping rides for people in the natural environment. Mm -hmm. And so the people that are buying the rides are paying for everybody else's entertainment, you know? Yeah, sure. and, and it's in a period thing, and you know, and, and, and out of a restaurant and a terminal building and the yeah. whole bit. Yeah. And so uh, at some point, I now I see, I'm not there yet, but at some point, um, I see that other airplane looking at from a really good structural point of view. Now, whether or not we need to bring need to some, repair it? Well, yeah, to, to bring well, something. Well, you've up always a, said you weren't, weren't sure. Yeah, wait, I don't know. You know, it, uh, it, it hasn't ever been completely. It hasn't been a problem. Yeah, yeah. So we have no, it hasn't been a problem. No. I don't know that much about the airplane prior to Flying Lady when that guy had it. Yeah. And that museum. But you know, it's a 1930. Right. That's not very far down the line, being a hundred years. And it was 17S, not 2024. Yeah. And it was not primed. Yeah. So you know, yeah. if you tell That's me to bring point. that airplane up here and we tear it apart, you know what we're going to find. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, okay. So you got to well, consider, you well, can't well, consider well, spending well, some money. You don't have to yeah. consent, consider spending a lot on it. Yeah. Okay. And I, I would love to do it. I thank the world of you. I would trust you to no end. Uh, and, and I hope you make up your mind that you would like it restored. But give that a lot of thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what. I just, right, you know, like I explained to you, right now I'm floating on property mm -hmm. things and whatever, and I'm waiting for the ship to come in to where I can follow through with my dream. And By go the rest of Interstate 4? Yeah, uh, I, I, I know a lot of it down there you anyway. Know a lot of it now, yeah, 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 yeah. Tampa and Orlando don't realize they're actually suburbs of Orlando. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that includes Disney. <laughs> so, anyway, but uh, well, you own the part of the highway down there that I made a forced landing. No in way. In my young boyhood, yeah, my old Stinson and A blew an engine. No at, way. Uh, Thirty-five hundred feet above I the clouds. I didn't know that. And the ceiling was 400 feet yeah, down cool. through the clouds I came. And all at once, I went whizzing my Interstate 4. And I couldn't land in the, in the median. It, it was trees and stuff going in most of it. What year was this? Uh, that would have been about 1962. Oh no, 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 65. Okay, all right. And I landed right between two semis. Well, I would have been 12 years old, but had I owned the property, I probably would have waived the landing fee. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so super. So then, what, well, like I said, the, the, the five, let me see when I've got some money, I may throw it out of there because at some point I'll need some room. Good place. Yeah, yeah. And then, the, uh, and then the, like I said, if y'all want to tinker and put a little effort in that, 
you know, now I don't mind throwing a little bit of money, not the stupid money. The first thing I can do is the first of the year. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, okay. no. I'm, I'm in no uh, hurry. I'm in no hurry. Let's talk about it. We'll talk about it, you okay? Do, you take your time and think about okay, it. Okay, okay. So basically, let me come up with a budget and we'll go from there. Yeah. And if you want to work, you know, a couple of guys for a week and yeah. and then put it off for one. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, let me do that. Let me see where I, I'm at I at the end I'm of the year. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to interfere with you buying your dream. Oh, my God. When people finally understand what I'm trying to do, yeah. it's going to be cool. Because I, when you were there, I think I let you listen to some of the audio experiences. Yeah. Okay, well, I brought you one up. I don't know if I gave you a CD back then. I brought you one up. And did I give you one of my Austin the Ostrich books? No. Okay, well, I signed one for you guys specifically okay. because it really, it's a character that explains the whole concept. Because the fantasy of flight concept the people are going to love the airplanes, blah, 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 but it's not about airplanes. It's about flight of the human spirit. Yeah. And we can tell great stories about the human experience to people that don't like airplanes mm -hmm. to touch them in ways that they're going to leave and go, you know, those old airplanes are kind of cool. You know, so, so I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to touch the rest of the planet mm -hmm. where everybody and his brother that loves old airplanes yeah. is going to be at Oshkosh where I'm going, yeah. you know, on Sunday yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for a week. You know, and the rest of the world, eh, it's, but I mean, what you guys do out there is so cool because you, you're creating art. That's oh, what it is. We feel that way. It is. It's Trust art. Me. You know, we sh show your airplane to a lot of people. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Okay. Well, I'll take I, that I, I into consideration as to how long I have to leave it. That's <laughs> one. 13th of August. I got 200 um, uh, Model A Fords. <laughs> Tees. Tees. Oh, long tees. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coming in here to see these airplanes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. My wife, Teresa, has a vague memory of us going to a restaurant. It might have been Italian. You picked us up in an RV now, and it had pictures on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We, is it still I, around? I have that bus still, but I haven't been operating it. Uh, that restaurant, um, Finley's, okay. and the best steak in, you could always count on huh. it being good. And you made a comment about one of the best steaks you ever had. But the biggest comment that you made that night was, you paid? I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Maurice. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Okay, so we're doing dinner tonight, but it's on me, okay? Okay, sure. okay, it's on me, and, and I'll give you all the uh, I'll give you all the swag tonight for your grandkids, and your yeah. lovely wife's coming too, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, super. All right, yeah. that's awesome.